It was built at the beginning of the Iraq War in 2003. The bomb was first tested by the U.S. military in March of 2003, just before the start of the Iraq War. The Department of Defense said it was dropped from a C-130 Hercules aircraft at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. It weighed 21,500 pounds, has a length of 30 feet, and is 40.5 inches in diameter. It is satellite-guided, making it a very large smart bomb. It burst about six feet above the ground. The statement concludes with the line, it is the largest non-nuclear weapon in existence. CNN reported in April 2003 that one bomb of the 15 that were created was moved into the Persian Gulf area. The idea behind an airburst weapon, as opposed to a weapon that explodes on impact with the ground, is to increase its destructive range. A bomb that penetrates the ground and then bursts tends to send all its energy either down into the ground or straight up into the air. An airburst weapon sends a great deal of its energy out to the side. The MOAB will replace the BLU-82, also known as the Daisy Cutter, a 15,000-pound airburst bomb developed during the Vietnam War. The Air Force can drop a Daisy Cutter to create an instant helicopter landing site. The explosive force would clear out trees in a 500-foot diameter circle. The MOAB is not the largest bomb ever created, however. In the 1950s, the United States manufactured the T-12, a 43,600-pound bomb that could be dropped from a B-36. Compared to a nuclear bomb, the MOAB produces a tiny explosion. The smallest known nuclear bomb, the Davy Crockett fission bomb, has a 10-ton yield. The difference is that a nuclear bomb that small weighs less than 100 pounds and produces significant amounts of lethal radiation when it detonates. For comparison, the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 14,500 tons of TNT and weighed only 10,000 pounds, half the weight of the MOAB. Russia claims it has detonated the father of all bombs, four times the strength of the MOAB. The Guardian reported in September 2007 that the Russian military had detonated the father of all bombs. The Kremlin described the bomb as being four times more powerful than the MOAB. The Guardian quoted an army official in Russia, Alexander Rushkin, as saying, you'll now see it in action. The bomb, which has no match in the world, is being tested at a military site. The Russian bomb was dropped by a Tupolev 160. United States Air Force Lieutenant General Herbert Carl Isle described the bomb as a great weapon to use on Iran. Global Research Canada quoted U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General Herbert Carl Isle as calling the MOAB a B great for a possible strike on Iran. Jonathan Carl of ABC News wrote in October 2009 that the MOAB is ideally suited to hit deeply buried nuclear facilities in Iran. Just prior to Carl writing that article, he noted that McDonnell Douglas was awarded a $51.9 million contract to provide massive penetrator ordnance integration on B-2 aircraft. Carl also describes the bomb as not the kind of weapon that would be particularly useful in Iraq or Afghanistan. Each bomb costs $16 million to build. According to military information website Deagle, MOAB cost around $16 million per unit. So far, the U.S. military has spent $314 million on the production of the explosive. The bomb weighs 20,000 pounds and is equipped with a GPS tracking system. The strike comes days after Staff Sergeant Mark D'Allenser was killed in the region. On April 10, 2017, the Defense Department announced that Special Forces Staff Sergeant Mark D'Allenser had been killed in the Akin District. He was 37 years old. He was based out of Eglin Air Force Base, where MOAB was first tested. The Akin District as 100% tribal. During the Soviet-Afghan War of the 1980s, it was a stronghold of the U.S.-backed Mohadadin. There was a population of around 95,000. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime said in 2000 that the area was the greatest opium-growing district in eastern Afghanistan. Other crops grown in the area include wheat and tobacco. Thank you for watching the video. Check out all the other videos we have for you here at Top Trends. Like if you made it this far. Subscribe for more future awesome videos. Till next time, ta-ta.